Welcome back to Full Motion. As we're seeing YouTube boxing rise with names like Jake Paul, KSI, Anison Gibb, McBroom among others fighting this year. Logan Paul is also looking to get into the mix and by mix I mean mixed martial arts. Now we know Logan's career in boxing isn't the best with him basically losing to KSI twice then losing to Mayweather. There's a left hook connecting, connected as Logan Paul came forward. Size up Logan Paul, big right hand by Mayweather. And push Logan Paul off of him. Logan round against Floyd Mayweather. It's understandable he wants to use the skills he's never been able to use like his wrestling to finally show fans that he can fight and win. Two months ago on a show with Ariel Halwani, he called out Paddy Pimblet or Paddy the Baddy. Like look, I found out who I'd, who I'd like to fight if I did a oh. UFC match. Paddy the Baddy. <laughs> He's like super charismatic, he's entertaining as hell, uh, he's on the come up, he's young like me. Now I'm sure you guys are familiar with Paddy, but for those of you who ain't, let me introduce you to him. I'm here to, to headlock Dana and Hunter and Sean Shelby and Mick Maynard, lad. I'm here to get them all in a headlock later and let them know the new the new kid on the block is. I'm a scouser. We don't get knocked out. <laughs> Just you saying lol, you're a proper helmet. Anyone that says lol <laughs> is a bad tool. Lad, I've told you, ever you come in my presence with Coke Zero or Diet Coke and you're getting sent home. After the call out, Paddy responded in an interview saying, He knows who the boy is, doesn't he? He knows who, uh, he knows who will put bums on seats, lad. I know he's a lot bigger than me, like, but I think it really matters, to be honest. I think I'd submit him quite easily and quite quickly, but if Logan Paul does ever want to fight, lad, I'm, 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 I'm open to hearing what numbers he's coming at us with. <laughs> he also responded in another podcast saying, so One funniest thing I thought about is, lad, he's never took a like it. No one understands what it's like taking a leg kick if you've never took one. But I'd snap his leg or something over and ended up fighting him. But it seemed all news from there died down and with Logan still looking for an opponent to fight this year, just a few days ago on the True Geordie podcast, while Logan was hungover, he brought back up the hype and called Paddy out once again. I'm taking out Paddy the baddie, dude. Interesting. I'm taking him out. Need, like, this guy is a savage. You know what I mean? Is he? 100%, yeah. You sure? He's, I'm sure, yeah. Like, what makes you think that? Fought a couple guys? <laughs> yeah. Bro, I have a lot of wins. <laughs> I'm gonna get him. Okay. Up kick to the jaw, brother. <laughs> Bang, zoom. Now, if you fought Floyd Mayweather, then you can pretty much make any fight happen, especially when it's in the UFC, where there are no contracts MMA fighters need to get out of. Logan is entering their world, and many seem to think that fight will actually happen. This is not, no one's trying to climb the ranks. This is, I'm getting paid, and the promo's gonna be great, and you're all gonna watch it. What are your thoughts on this, guys? Will Logan last in the cage, and how do you think this one will go down? Also, please remember to like and subscribe, as it does really help this channel a lot by bringing you the best upcoming fights. Comment below your thoughts on who Logan should fight as he did call out McGregor and Dylan Dennis too. But until anything's confirmed, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.